Konnichiwa! The Resident Evil franchise is on an all-time high, with a remake of Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 4 for next year. And recently in the PlayStation Showcase, we saw Resident Evil Village. There's never been a better time to be a Resident Evil fan, and things are only going to get better. For fans of the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, there is a full demake happening of the original Resident Evil and I got the chance to talk to the dev team behind it. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. Welcome back to the show. If you're new to the channel, then why not consider subscribing by clicking on a little button down below. And while you're down there, it'd be awesome if you could check out if the thumbs up button works for me. Now Resident Evil is an awesome series. It helped redefine the survival horror genre and brought with it one of the most compelling game series ever made. And the series has found new life and a new audience with the Resident Evil remakes. And whilst the remakes are an amazing gaming experience and Village looks to be shaping up to be another Resident Evil classic, there's one Resident Evil game that I'm interested more than most. And that is a fan-made demake of the original Resident Evil for the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. Bio Evil. Bio Evil is a port of the original classic PlayStation game to the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis in what the developers are calling a demake. Now, Bio Evil has been in development for a while now as an R&D project by PSCD Games. But more recently, the team have made some unbelievable progress that's got a community around it really excited. Now, if you've been with the channel for any length of time, you know how excited I get about anything new, old, retro related. And so when the developers left a comment on one of my videos pointing me in the direction of BioEvil, I couldn't contain my excitement. And I reached out to them with a few questions about their game. And amazingly, they replied with some awesome information about BioEvil and where it currently is in development. Now, there's no denying from the screenshots and videos that we've seen of BioEvil, there's no reason not to get excited about this brand new retro game for the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. In fact, the team has gone as far as to release a demo, an early demo back in 2017, I think, of the actual game. And you can download it by clicking on the link in the description. But naturally, seeing something as exciting as this, I wanted to learn a little more. And so I've been talking to the guys on Facebook and over email about what they wanted to achieve, where they are with the project, and what BioEvil is. No! Don't go! Now, PSCD Games are the creator of BioEvil, and they're no stranger to making games for the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. With games like Foxyland, Detta, and Alien Cat 2, they're certainly no stranger to producing high-quality Sega Mega Drive and Genesis games already. And all those three games are available to buy on their store, which you can find in the link below. Now, PSCD is actually the tag of their lead programmer, and there are actually four people working on BioEvil. Now, BioEvil is certainly an ambitious game, taking an absolutely beloved classic Resident Evil and porting it over to the Mega Drive and Genesis is no mean feat. But we can already see from the screenshots, the demo they provided, and the videos that it's certainly possible. And the team have said that they wanted to take on something challenging, something that will push them and that no one else is doing at the moment. BioEvil started off as an RNG project with the team wanting to prove that they could pull off something as complicated as a port of the original Resident Evil. Now the game has been in development for a while, but the team are super transparent with the progress that they're making. And in between development, they've managed to push out another three games. Now the game is currently 50% complete and the team intend to bring both story arcs of Jill and Chris to BioEvil. Another big aspect of the game is the typewriter functionality to save your game. But 
PSCD have confirmed that they will have battery backup in the cartridge and that was always the intention from the start of the development of this game. Now something else that I found striking about BioEvil was the realization of the 3D polygonal characters in game. And I was really curious to see how the team managed to achieve this effect. And it turns out the process is relatively simple, but amazingly effective. Character artist on the project, Nerd SP, is actually taking renders of the original characters, then redrawing these and scaling them to fit the needs of the game. And it's just stunning. It's so effective. To be honest, when I first looked at this, I was like, how are they doing polygonal modeling on the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis without using a specialized chip. It's a stunning effect that they've managed to recreate and I think really captures the essence of Resident Evil. The game will include mode one, which means we're gonna have a stunning soundtrack that accompanies Bio Evil and they've got some amazing recreations of the cutscenes, which you can see in the demo and in the videos that the team have already put out. And when I asked how they recreated these stunning cutscenes from the original game in Bio Evil, again they pointed to the amazing work that Nerd SP has done by painstakingly redrawing and recreating these original cutscenes. Then, as they progressed through the development process, they realized that they could add more color by adding layers. Another aspect of the game that I'm very, very impressed with is the actual layout of the rooms. The 2D visualization of these rooms, the isometric view that they've chosen is amazing. And some of the design choices are fantastic. Things like showing just the third of the door that you entered and exited from. It doesn't block your view, but allows you to understand exactly where you need to enter and exit the room. Also, normally where a wall would obscure a player completely as they run around the corner, they've cut off the corner of the actual wall to allow you to see where your player is. A fantastic design choice, allowing you to carry out combat and exploration whilst not being hindered by the environment. Now, as I understand it, Green Ghost is responsible for the construction and layout of all of these rooms, and he's done a fantastic job of recreating them. Resident Evil had this really gritty, pre-rendered environment where the player would navigate. And of course, you can't really recreate that one-to-one -one on the Sega Mega Drive. And the team's pixel artwork in these environments does a fantastic job of recreating the ambience of the world. Now, I also asked the team a number of questions like what size the cartridge will be and if it will support a six-button controller, which it will, by the way. But of course, being only 50% through the project, there's still a number of unanswered questions that the team have to solve. Now this game has got me really, really excited. And so I really wanted to know if there's gonna be a physical copy of this coming soon, and more importantly, like a limited edition or a collector's edition of the game. And the team are extremely sensible here. They know that this is Capcom's IP and that there would be copyright issues if they were to do that. They'd love to do that for their fans and have asked if the Retro Gamer Boy community has any kind of contacts or advice on how they could get in touch with Capcom to perhaps make this a reality. A collector's edition of this game would be amazing. From what we've seen so far, from what you can play in the demo they've released, this game is shaping up to be a true fan classic on the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis.
want to say a big thank you to Green Ghost for putting up with all the questions I was asking about the fantastic game that they're creating at PSCD Games. BioEvil is definitely shaping up to be one of the classic, modern classic Sega Mega Drive and Genesis games. And you can keep up to date with all of PSCD's games and progress on BioEvil by subscribing to their YouTube channel, which I've included in the description below. This was a super fun show to film. I love things like this, new advancements for retro gaming technology. And if you love your retro gaming, you can subscribe to the Retro Gamer Boy show by just clicking on my little pixel head below. We put out brand new retro gaming videos every Monday, and you can get notified as soon as a new show is available by clicking on the little bell below this video. And if you can't wait until then, then you can check out our huge back catalogue of retro gaming content, two of which you can find over here.